Hey there, this is Bill Judas of Armchair Arcade. Um, today I wanted to do another unboxing, this time of Pure Solar and the Great Architects. It's the uh, U.S. Um, Prestige Edition. Uh, but I just want to talk a little bit about the game before, before we get to the actual unboxing. Um, the game was delivered uh, in, in a um, padded um, envelope with this um, insert and the uh, game itself in this plastic uh, um, snap case. So you can already see that it's a little more than the usual um, homebrew. Um, it was released in December 2010. Uh, that's last month by uh, a group that calls themselves the Watermelon Company. Uh, I'm sure that that means um, something. Uh, I don't know what that is though. Uh, they developed Pure Solar. Uh, it started actually back in 2004. Um, it came out of some uh, um, online uh, uh, community or group. And uh, um, unlike most of these things, um, Real development actually did start on it. So um, by 2006, they apparently had a um, game engine, and the uh, momentum from from there uh, built up. Uh, I guess by late um, 2008, um, there actually started to be quite a bit of hype, and uh, they started to take um, pre-orders. So. This is one of those uh, long time coming um, productions with the usual um, um, ups and downs. But again, uh, hype wise, Pure Solar was pretty um, um, dramatic. And while I keep on uh, blabbering about things, uh, I may as well uh, give this plastic uh, case here a pop and you can get a better look at, at the box itself. Um, let's see. The, they, they even have a seal of, of quality on it, which is, of course, a nod to the uh, often uh, misnamed uh, seal, seal quality and seal of approval that uh, many of these companies often, uh, like uh, Sega and Nintendo, often uh, would um, place on things to make you think that they actually... Uh, had a level of quality control, um, and the reality is the only level of quality quality control that they actually offered was that it would work on your system. Um, but beyond that, again, this plastic snap case is pretty neat. The seal is neat, it's top notch, um, and I suppose this is the watermelon productions. Uh, logo it looks like a WM there on the plastic little um, trademark there good for them and uh, there's a little uh, pixelated guy on there so um, very very nice uh, um, obviously it's unnecessary but uh, that's not what's important when it comes to these things so anyway um, this this could in fact be one of the biggest um, homebrew releases of, of all time. Uh, we're talking um, thousands of copies across the different versions and the re-released uh, um, re um, version. Uh, typical uh, hit uh, um, homebrews, let's say for, for the Atari 2600, which is one of the most popular um, homebrew uh, platforms, is typically in the range of a couple hundred um, copies. That, that's considered a big hit. So we're talking thousands now. Um, part of that has to do with the fact that this is uh, a Sega Genesis slash uh, Mega Drive um, um, title. Uh, so there's a little, little less, uh, you know, uh, um, old guy uh, nostalgia at play here. Uh, the the potential audience is bigger. Um, there's still more uh, uh, Sega Genesis uh, um, systems in um, operation, and of course they still continue to produce uh, both official and, and unofficial clone systems. So um, this guy works on all those. Though uh, 
you, uh, you will want an original setup for uh, something that I'll talk about in a moment. Um, uh, like I said, there were uh, or are three different versions um, released: the classic and the prestige, which is, which again is this one, were the ones that uh, were designed for the people who uh, pre-ordered. And uh, you could see here. Originally, this was envisioned as a uh, Sega CD or Mega CD um, game meaning it required the CD add-on, but um, it eventually morphed into a cartridge. So you ask, uh, why is there a CD here? Well, this does an interesting thing, and um, that's one of the advantages of this kind of, uh, you know, uh, um, homebrew development that has no mastery. You can kind of explore these um, crazy ideas. Uh, this was done uh, on the uh, um, some of the Intellivision um, homebrews where the cartridge would work on a normal Intellivision but if you happen to have the uh, enhanced computer system um, add-on uh, it would actually take advantage of the uh, additional sound channels that the second sound chip in, in the um, ECS you know afforded and actually that's uh, what this disc is for um, there's the cartridge, and it and this, this is optional, which is also nice. It's not um, um, required. That's the way that it should be. But if you have a Sega CD attached, uh, what you can do is pop the disc in, and it will give you additional uh, sound and music. So that's a nice bonus. Now, now the third edition, um, which is the um, re-release uh, re edition, well. Uh, they actually call it the reprint edition, uh, as it, as you see in my notes here. Um, that one only contains the cartridge and a traditional plastic um, um, clamshell box, um, so you miss out on the CD, which I guess is a nice bonus for those of us that uh, waited all this time for the um, for the game to come. Um, this is the. Um, honestly, the most professional, uh, slickest um, homebrew um, homebrew product that I've ever seen. Um, you know, this is this is uh, uh, gorgeous. It's you know, it's, uh, it's full color printing inside. Um, you know, it sets the scene, all um, all that stuff. It talks about how the game works. Uh, blah blah blah. Um, everything is just it's it's just absolutely uh, you know. Fantastic. So, um, and then the letter uh, came with a letter. I guess it's kind of a, uh, you know, it has my name and the fact that it was uh, sent in the U.S. and all that, and um, what the edition is. Um, I have the USA Posterity Edition. There's also a Japanese version, which is in the Japanese uh, Mega Drive style, and a European version, which is on European uh, uh, Mega Drive style. So you have uh, uh, the three different types of packaging and then the fourth type which is the uh, cut down uh, uh, more of a mass market uh, version for those who didn't get in on the um, pre-order. And I'm really glad I did because uh, wow it's nice. Uh, there's supposed to be a Japanese language translation um, and even though uh, um, literally hundreds of people worked in this game uh, apparently they couldn't find a Japanese translator who was able to, to do the necessary uh, uh, proofreading to, to make sure that the Japanese language was um, correct uh, but it looks like they, uh, they, um, they were able to do English, French, German, and Spanish so uh, this is one of those times where uh, if you only know um, Japanese, uh, um, you're screwed. But luckily for the rest of us, and uh, you know, this is impressive. I mean, even even most uh, big budget um, commercial games don't bother to um, translate to to all to all those different uh, to all those different um, languages. The game itself is um, turn-based. It's turn turn-based um, role-playing game. 
in the uh, JRPG, Japanese RPG, in the classic uh, style, you do not um, create your own um, characters. Uh, the characters are obviously pre uh, pre-made, they have the established uh, uh, back backstory and everything, but um, this is impressive. I mean, this is this is the ultimate in uh, um, homebrews, and I don't think something like this, uh, the years of development, the number of people involved, the packaging that uh, uh, rivals or exceeds whatever was available from the big companies. Uh, heck, you know. Um, now, besides this, uh, this nice uh, packaging here, departure and everything, there's also some goodies. Um, uh, by the way, I just saw here, it's a 64 meg uh, um, cartridge. That's not a, um, a megabytes, that's megabits, but um, you know, that's one of the biggest 16-bit uh, cartridges ever made. I mean, that's an impressive, you know, I mean, this is, this, 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 this is not a small game. Uh, you might expect something uh, scaled back, but this is this is a full scale uh, um, RPG, and again, it has that neat um, interaction with the um, Sega CD unit. So, so, so let me see if I can access the goodies here. All right, I just want to be real careful with the box here. It's built really well, and it, it would be a shame to. Uh, mess it up trying to do a uh, quick uh, unboxing here so let's see all right I think I have most um, everything uh, what's kind of neat is it looks like you know I'm not going to act access it now but it looks as though they even have some col color printing uh, on the inside flap here but I don't know how to how to access that at the moment if if that's even meant meant to be accessed but uh, no, no expense was spared here. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's take a drink of water. That's what you get for uh, one take uh, videos and 12 minutes in after a long day of work. Um, okay, we have here uh, in that goodies um, section there. Let's see, what do we have? It looks like a very, very nice uh, poster. Um, celebrating the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis's 20th anniversary blast processing since 1988. Yeah. Sega's famous uh, marketing term used with uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. That's a nice um, poster. Um, you know, and just uh, include some uh, screenshots from the game and some nice uh, artwork there. Um, let's see. We also have a. I don't know. Looks like uh, an ad possibly for an upcoming game called uh, Thunder Drive 3. Super Thunder Drive 3. That's important. The more um, hyperbole that you put, the more uh, authentic these um, new releases are. But looks uh, pretty um, fantastic. It looks like it's going to use uh, the 32X. Yep. So, looking forward to that one. If it's half as good as this, it'll still be uh, miles ahead of the typical um, homebrew. Some nifty uh, stickers here. And what else do we have here? We have a guide slash manual. I guess um, this, this, this was still when they were focusing on uh, Japanese. There's French, uh, I guess um, English and uh, German. Forget what the BR is. Let's see. What would, what would the BR be? I'm not really sure sure what the BR would be. But anyway, um, it's kind of neat. It's a multi language uh, pull out here. Uh, I guess this is the guide slash uh, manual. So I guess in, in combination with the uh, with the boxes uh, manual here. You know, I mean, mostly, uh, most instructions appear to be in here, but maybe that that's more of a technical um, guide. Uh, it does support the six-button um, controller, which again, 
uh, you have to give them all you know all the credit. They they didn't skimp. They uh, went all out. So that's my um, unboxing video and uh, little uh, mi mini guide to Peer uh, Solar. Um, I'm sh I'm sure there's already a dozen or or more of these out there. So I don't I don't know how much I I added or didn't add, but um, there you have it. Um, don't forget to check out Armchair Arcade. That's www.armchairarcade.com, and we'll continue the discussion there. Till next time, take care.